Hey guys, it's Benji. Welcome back to my channel. Um, nasa channel kita, it's either maybe uh, nakita mo isa sa mga videos ko on how to get a job in Singapore. Well, to tell you honestly guys, before I started uh, doing my vlog, so ang first na topic ko talaga na gustong i-share sa lahat Filipinos is how to get a job here in Singapore. Wherein, alam ko naman na maraming mga, mga gustong mag-Singapore. Well, um, despite of that, sobrang hirap po makakuha ng trabaho dito sa Singapore. Pero I'm giving all high hopes to all those Filipinos na gustong mag-take risk. They wanted to challenge themselves to come here and find a better opportunities as well. At sa lahat po ng mga bago pa po sa channel ko, don't forget also to like, share, and comment down below. And of course, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and of course, kung napanood nyo na yung mga first few videos ko so the next topic that I'm going to share is the advantages and disadvantages of going through agency and of course, the advantage of having a direct job Well, um, actually guys, hindi sa pagmamayabang uh, I've been in Macau, Hong Kong I've been also in the Middle East like Dubai and Oman and also in the US and of course, in, the, in Europe so, I've met a lot of Filipinos who've been working there. So, they share their life, their work, at the same time yung mga leisure din nila. So, dun ko nalaman na sobrang hirap talaga makakuha ng trabaho anywhere in the world. Pero nga lang, the reason why nandun sila sa bansang yun, kasi nandun yung passion nila, dedication nila for them to be able to provide a better opportunity for themselves and of course to help their family as well. So, even in the US guys, sobrang hirap makakuha ng trabaho doon. That's why uh, marami din mga nagti-TNT after their student visa, if they, get, if they didn't get a job, parang hindi na sila umuwi ng Pilipinas or they're trying to cross different state. Now, also in Europe, um, this is the reality as well guys. Um, in Europe, because I've been in Europe, I was in Italy. So, um, malaki din yung sahod, but of course, hindi naman peso yung cost of living mo dun. Okay? So, you're still gonna spend your money. Just like here in Singapore, malaki din ang sahod. So, Singapore dollar din yung cost of living. So, may mga deductions din. But despite of that, going back to my topic is yung practicality advantages of going to an agency and also advantages of getting a direct job to a company okay so um basically um i've already discussed uh, on my first few videos uh, yung different passes so actually po is, kapag sinabi natin uh dh ito po yung mga uh, kababayan natin na nag sa mga bahay. So, kung mag-agency naman sila, most likely ang pabayaran nila is $500 to $700 SGD. Pero, syempre, iba pa yung case nila. So, most likely, salary deductions pa sila. Okay. But, on that specific um, job sa DH, ang offer sa kanilang uh, work visa is working permit. Okay? Now, uh, another type of visa is what we have, what we call uh, work permit also. These are also for Filipinos, Taiwanese, Korean, Vietnamese. So, kung mag agency din po tayo, ang placement fee na babayaran natin is 3,300 SGD kung sa peso na sa 120,000 pesos. Now, if you get a job through an agency, tapos espas yung offer, yung work visa na in-offer sa'yo, ang babayar mo is 5,000 to 5,500 SDD na mga halagang 200,000 pesos plus plus. Okay. Um, the reason why I'm sharing you this, it's that, yun na nga, um, my first video, coming here, you really need to have a budget. Okay, may nag-message sa akin kagabi, sa niya sa akin, uh, Kuya, mas prefer ko na lang pala pumunta dyan para mag uh, mag-ikot-ikot at maghanap ng trabaho. Yes, dapat gawin mo lahat. By all means, try to maximize your time. Pero, I also suggest, depende kasi yan eh, siguro, case to case basis din. Hindi ko rin masabi na sa akin na, siguro, I'll go for practicality. Um, 
okay lang sa akin na mag shell out ng ganong amount as long as I can get the job parang before ako pumunta dito meron na akong trabaho anyway guys if you're gonna to, if you're gonna spend that kind of amount most likely 3 to 5 months mababawi mo din yan kasi dito sa Singapore malaki ang sahod malaki din ang cost of living pero if you're going to get the net or yung pinaka after na expenses mo after nang padala mo sa family mo okay pa rin yung savings mo if I'm going to compare it with the other countries. Okay, um, take note, I'm not bragging. Um, I'm not bragging here. Parang nalaman ko lang din kasi yung napagkumpara ko kasi eh, parang I've been in Dubai, I've been in Macau. So, nalaman ko. So, parang kung ano, parang sa akin, alam ko yung paano ba sabihin? Napagkumpara ko kahit pa paano, okay naman dito sa Singapore. O, oh, doon na tayo, safe na ako doon. So, napagkumpara ko sa mga bansang na bangkit ko, kahit pa paano, okay din dito sa Singapore. Okay? Now, um, advantages of going through an agency in the Philippines. Of course, yun na nga. Nasa Pilipinas ka, you applied for a job in an agency in the Philippines. So, expect it to be a little bit higher. For sure, may patong na yan, guys. But, of course, yun nga. Kung mag-agency ka naman dito sa Singapore, um, marami ka din makakompetensya. So, the more na marami kang kompetensya, parang nasa 50-50 din yung status mo kung makakakuha ka ba ng trabaho or not. Kasi nga, marami din mga magagaling. Diba? Pilipinos pa ba? Talagang magagaling mga Pilipino. Kaya, I mean, kahit ako din naman, gagalingan ko din. Okay? So, eto yung share ko. May isa akong Pilipino na kaibigan. Ay, no, no. Dalawa sila. Um, it's like a couple of months ago, they took, they got their job here in Singapore through agency. Okay, so yung isa, nagbayad sila sa Pilipinas. Yung isa naman, parang it's a cross country. So nakuha niyong trabaho dito habang nasa Dubai pa siya. Okay, so uh, they got the interview through online or Skype. You know. So nandun sila sa practicality na at least pagpunta na din na dito, may trabaho na sila. Ayan, yun yung mga advantages. Unless, kung let's say for example, that person from Dubai or somewhere else, punta na ng Singapore, tapos doon pala maghahanap. So, syempre, um, kailangan mo na ano, tatag ng loob. Alam mo yung mahirap, mahirap may ituro sa tao yung ano, TV ng loob, tsaka yung ano, yun, positivity. Kasi may mga taong pag ano pala, sobrang negative na always try to be positive guys. Parang, if, if you're positive in life, everything will be ano, kahit negative ba yan, wala. Basta yung lagi mong isipin na kaya ko to, kaya ko to. Okay? So, parang in every time na may pupunta na kang interview, sasabihin mo, sana may positive feedback, sana may positive feedback. Well, kung may negative feedback naman, let's move on, let's move forward. Apply ng apply lang. Apply ng apply, kahit mag-send ka pa ng 100 resumes online, as long as makakuha ka ng direct job, much better. Okay? At the end of the day, yung benefit mapupunta sa'yo. Okay? Now, um, for example, um, you got a job in the Philippines through an agency. Okay, prior coming here in Singapore, make it sure guys, yung salary, very important. Okay? Kasi pwedeng may piniraman kang sahod sa Pilipinas pagdating mo dito yung sa mismong employer, iba yung iahain niya sa yung kontrata. So, make it sure sobrang legit, double check with the agency. Okay? Ayun. And of course, um, sabi ko nga, um, going back to the topic again, pasensya na kung paulit-ulit ako kasi minsan yung mga sinasabi ko, minsan na lang siya pumapasok habang nagsasalita ako. Okay, so kapag nandito ko na sa Singapore guys, make it sure you're the best of the best. Okay, this is battle of the fittest. Kung mas magaling ka, mas magaling siya, dapat mas magaling ka, ganun. But of course, always be humble pa rin naman. It's just that this is a competitive uh, world na kailangan mo makuha yung top spot para makuha mo yung trabaho. Ayun, kumukulog na nga kasi yung umulan. Okay, so... Ayun. So, kapag nakakuha ka naman ng direct job sa mga direct company, of course, it's a big blessing. Wala kang gagastusin. It's just that you exert a lot of effort, like going around. But at the end of the day, kapag para sa'yo talaga, para sa'yo. Okay? Kasi may mga taong ilang beses nang umayot ng Singapore, pero for the first time nakakuha, they're very lucky. Yung iba, after third attempt, doon pa, na, pa lang sila nakakuha. Siguro nga, everything has a timing na rin. And then, of course, um, 
uh, while going through an agency, don't mo mo meet lahat ng mga Filipinos na they're looking for a job. So you're gonna be sharing same sentiments, experiences. Pero minsan talaga nagtutulungan ko yung may interview daw dito, may interview daw dyan. So let's try to attend mga ganda nun. Ayan guys. So sana guys um, may natutunan kayo sa video na to, sa vlog na to. At saka kapag mga questions man kayo, just comment down below. And of course, don't forget to click that subscribe button. And um, abangan nyo pa po yung mga susunod kong topic para may isa-isa ko na po lahat. Kasi nga, it's already 2020. Of course, this is a new chapter, new challenges, new opportunities. Sa lahat po ng mga gusto magpunta dito, sana po mapanood nyo po yung video ko. Okay, at actually sa lahat ng mga videos na in-upload ko for the sa mga vlogs ko, meron pong mga sharing ng mga Pilipino ng mga kaibigan ko on how they got their job, their experiences. Alright, so stay tuned. Bye!